It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Gonna be alright. Sounds pretty good, huh, Nettie? Oh yeah. I mean, this room, you really can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, I tell ya. Well, hey guys, I'm sitting here with Nettie Freed from Spellbound Recorders. Nettie, thanks so much for uh, just having me here, you know. Ben, at it's the... my pleasure. <laughs> Absolutely. This is a, a fantastic room and we really used it today. We did drums and bass and guitars and we taught a panel of Belmont students how to, you know, mix. That's, I mean, we designed this place with multi-creative use in mind. So the fact that you're using every component is it means a lot, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, that's so, that's so cool. I'm just so grateful to be here and thanks for having us. And so how did you like build this place? Like how did this place come about? Tell us about the name and tell us about the process of building the studio. Well, it was a, like everything creatively, it's always a long journey to get to where you are. And I feel like sometimes you feel like you have to start at the beginning, yeah. but to abridge it, I had this immense privilege of growing up in the music business in LA and my dad's a publisher. My grandfather is Alan Free. He's noted for, you know, breaking down barriers of segregation in music. And, you know, it's just kind of a family lineage. And, you know, when I moved to Tennessee, I never dreamed that I was going to build a studio. But when I met my business partner, Daryl, and we started, you know, writing together, I realized that this place had an amazing energy that I wanted to share with everybody. Um, Daryl has a background as a general contractor. So um, we got together with a really renowned acoustician named Stephen Durr. He came out here and said, this place has the vibe. I think the fact that it's like right in the middle of five acres and it just like you're surrounded by nature yeah. and just good vibes, I think it just fosters creativity in a big way. So. We got to work, you know, within a year of my husband and I moving here. Um, and Daryl and I built this place from the ground up together. So it was really, really a special a project by two musicians who just wanted to bring more of the arts and what Nashville, what L.A., what New York has to offer to Wilson County, which is an incredible yeah. um, music community in itself. Yeah, this is fantastic. It definitely has a rock and roll kind of feel to it it feels you know like a like an old classic studio but it's got cutting edge gear you know but it has a, a kind of a vintage esoteric you know kind of vibe to it and i really feel like we uh we did really really solid week here with this master class and you know bringing a panel of students here bringing session guys in and just using every square inch of the studio everything from you know the outboard gear to the console we brought in instruments um just a great room I mean, thank you so much, Ben. I mean, it means a lot with your with your credits experience, the fact that you are a Belmont grad yourself. We love Belmont um, interns and students working here in our studio just because of what they bring. And I appreciate the words you said about that it's a rock setup because being a rock and roll chick myself from L.A., I really wanted to bring that warm sound of the yeah. Trident ADC um, this uh, console has been used, you know, by Queen, Nirvana. Um, it's just a, it's kind of a rare console of the original Tridents um, compared to the B. And it has that kind of honey warm tone. And we were trying to marry the modern outboard gear, you know, having Pro Tools, even yeah. Ableton and Logic, if you want to, if that's what you work in. But just running it through this console, it makes a huge difference in the sound. Oh, in absolutely. addition, our acoustics, you know, we really, like, tried to make them as as um, warm and clean as possible. So we yeah. hope that you had a good experience and were able to get great yeah. sounds all around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everything from the the just the way the floors and the, the beautiful lighting package and, you know, all the doors and just all the beautiful trim and there's chickens on the property and, you know, there's guest beds and like lodging for artists to come in and, you know, be able to bring their families and be able to like just camp out basically while a record's being made. I think that's pretty unique. Well, thank you for like um, noting that we just we really wanted to be a full service creative facility because, you know, growing up in the industry, I saw the shift from big studios, big sessions, ridiculous pricing on everything to people going home 
And I work in a lot of home studios and a lot of, um, you know, colleagues and engineers who work here have incredible home setups that they utilize still. But I'm a strong believer that good, warm stems for things like drums, vocals, or even, you know, acoustic instrumentation, when you have good stems and you go take those back to your workplace, you can't, you can't beat that. Um, no. It shouldn't be up to the engineer to literally do everything in their home setup. I think that there's a lot of stress to save money on the studios, but we're really big about artist advocacy, advocacy for, you know, engineers and producers to have affordable rates. And honestly, just hearkening back to this time when people did collaborate and work in studios. We love how things have moved home, but we feel like if you're going to come to a recording studio, it really has to be worth your while. And lodging yeah. and stuff is one of those things we included to incentivize people to come yeah. get, love recording again, like Absolutely. we used to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, can you touch on um, studio hospitality and just the importance of like, you know, players coming in and producers and even their families that come in with them to stay here? Can you touch on studio hospitality and just the importance of, um, you know, how it's important to have snacks and, you know, you know, drinks and, um, you know, just a great atmosphere in general, everything from the cleanliness to the studio, um, to even just the way people are treated, you know, across the board. Can you touch on hospitality for me? Well, of course. I mean, like, like I said, that, that background that I had, I, I grew up at a time when hospitality was not a question. And I think that's because there was maybe more funding on recording projects back then. But the thing is, Southern hospitality or hippie girl, hippie California girl hospitality, as I bring to the table, it doesn't really take that much effort. Um, when I have a client come in, the first thing I ask them is, what are your dietary restrictions? What it, does your team need, need accommodations? And they're almost shocked because people aren't used to being asked these kind of questions. But when you're working creatively, you're using every cell in your body. Um, if you're not, then you're not bringing your all. But a normal creative like yourself, like you really use last ounce of energy, mentally, emotionally, physically, and you need your support system around you. You need the nutrition and the lifestyle that you have at home. You need to be able to bring that to the studio in order to get good results. And I'm a strong believer in that. So, you know, with the lodging, it's like having that convenience to have your family or your team or your or the entire band be able to sit around at night and process what you've done in these eight to 12 hour sessions where you're giving everything to me and Daryl. It's just a no brainer. Um, that's why we don't price or we, we're not a one size fits all. We ask the artist or engineer what they need first before we give rates and we move from the bottom to the top because we understand that every artist, engineer, producer has different needs for their session. But you know, everybody should be treated honestly, like in my opinion, like they're in a hotel. I know that's really hard for people like engineers that run their own studio, but I have an incredible privilege of being a creative director and an artist. So I'm empathizing on a different level. Um, I don't have to, I, of course I keep, you know, I have, you know, a understanding of the gear and everything in my studio, but for me, it's more about creating the experience and understanding that talented engineers like you are going to bring everything they've got into this room and that I need to create the most serene uh, work environment possible for them to accomplish what they need to do. Yeah. Wow. It's just a fantastic place. It feels, honestly, it's, you know, it feels like a little Abbey Road studio out in the middle of the country here in Nashville, you know, and, um, you know, the last two days we've been making this master class, um, like I said, with some of the greatest session guys and Belmont kids and bringing in instruments and just using every square inch of it. And um, it's been a real joy to be here the last uh, couple of days. And we just can't thank you enough for, for having me and letting me come in here and just, you know, basically make some noise. So 
Thank that's you so much. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. Ben. We're so happy to have you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. See you. That's a wrap.